Well, hello everybody and greetings once again from the 2024 Florida RV Super Show. And we are here at Winnebago. And as you know, I'm a micro mini uh, flex brand ambassador. And this new RV here that you see here may look kind of familiar to you. And that is because the, the outer shell, it, it, it is kind of in the dimensions wise, very similar uh, to the micro mini. It is the same seven uh, feet wide construction, which is very easy to tow dual axles. And uh, this is the M series. And it's a more, let's call it the budget friendly version. And uh, let's step inside. Oh, before we step inside, well, we have storage down here. Actually quite big. Oops, stabilizer jacks. Solid steps, dual axles on a spring lift suspension, and uh, pretty big awning with the LED light. Um, real dimensions here, real quick: 25.8 exterior length, 41.96 dry weight. So, I mean, it's, it would be very easy to tow a 508 hitch weight, and uh, I might do a screenshot of all the other. Um, I made it this year, but uh, no, let's just step inside. Let's see what it looks like. Of course, we have Asdell construction on the walls. This is the 2225 MK of the M series Winnebago here. And uh, we'll get here in the front at the bedroom. We have an east west bed set up here, very similar to, to what we have in our micro mini. A little bit of a nightstand here. Um, you got power back there, and that's inverter prepped. So if you decide to put an inverter in here, that would work with the inverter. So you, you know, if you want a boondock or whatnot. Here we have storage. Actually, quite a bit of storage here on the M series. Let me tell you, I like it. Um, there's a barn door here, you know, sliding door. Kind of similar to what we had in the bathroom in, in, the, in the 2108 DS. It locks here with, a, with an elastic band. Um, here we have in the bathroom, actually this is a lot, of, a lot of storage space here in the bathroom, a lot of counter space really. And uh, yeah, we even have a towel rack and uh, could it be possible? No, you did not. There's a, a porcelain toilet here in the M series. Let's just step into the shower real quick. And as you know, I'm 5'10 and uh, yeah, there's a couple of inches to spare here. And I like this kind of, you know, uh, bathroom doors. They, they kind of have like a squeegee, so it cleans it up. We have ducted AC here on this unit. And um, let's come into the galley. We have a two burner propane, which is actually more than adequate because let's face it, you hardly ever use the, the three burners. You usually use just one. We in RVers, we usually do one pot meals, right? Down here we have a convection microwave. Lots of counter space here, lots of prep space. Same sink that we have. A lot of room down here for, for storage, even a garbage can down there possibly. We have drawers here. Very deep, actually. They come almost all the way out. What else do we have up here? More storage, like pantry storage and whatnot. Over here, too. Um, by the way, someone should turn on the AC here. Let's see, how does this work? Does anybody know how this works? It says off there, so I would have to turn it on first. There, fan on, and now here we go, 65, it should. Actually, it's not very loud for, for a, it's a GE, and since it is docked, it is, it is not that loud. Compressor just kicked in. Um, down here, we would find our big pots and pans drawer. And back here, what do we have back here? Well, this is a sofa, and this is a dinette. And I would think this probably becomes a, a bed 
I don't know exactly how it does, but you could, uh, in, and this I know becomes a bed too, so you could have two extra sleeping surfaces out here. And then here in the back we have this garage door, because I guess this would be a good area to store, uh, I mean, I don't see any, any tie downs, but to, for access, you know, maybe to, to put a bike or something, there's more storage. The TV, exactly where it should be, in front of your sofa. And then again, you, know, you have these latches on all the doors so they don't open and route. That's very deep, very, very deep pantry storage here. And down there, that's our furnace, that's our electric box. And last but not least, we have, oh, it opens on this side. We have a 12 volt refrigerator, very nice. And I kind of, you know, I, 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 sometimes I like the simplicity in, in certain things. And this, uh, this uh, locking latch here is actually very effective. So um, yeah, this is, here we have a little bit of another towel rack. Of course, all LED lighting up here. Oh, here we have access. No, we don't have access, but it's uh, another a pretty cavernous storage area down there. So, uh, yeah, that's that's the first of two M series that we have here at the Florida RV Super Show. Let's uh, look at the other one. I like these uh, posters that Guanabago has been doing. This is the other M series, very similar on the outside. This one, the door is more towards the back. But then again, here's the, the floor plan. This is the 2326 RK. And this one, we do have a walk around bed here on the front, mid bath. Then the same kind of jackknife sofa dinette uh, deal. And then actually they do offer the, the gas electric refrigerator on this one. And uh, I think this is going to be really cool because this rear corner kitchens, you get a great view while you're cooking. And you know I like to cook. Of course, all this prepped for solar as Dell. And they have all the Winnebago uh, packages at a budget. So this is the, okay, this is a different type of jackknife sofa. And this one is on a, on a, on a small-ish slide out room there. Um, same two burner propane, same refrigerator, same sink. Actually quite a bit of prep area here. That's our GFCI uh, power outlet. And um, yeah, it's actually very, very, very nicely a uh, nice floor plan here. The TV in front of your jackknife bed, which of course it turns into a, a, I mean jackknife sofa that turns into a bed. You know, it's <laughs> I've been at the RV show all day, so uh, I might be a little loopy at this point. Um, bathroom and... Uh, I want a porcelain toilet too. Walk around bed, very nice, with wardrobe, closet. Actually, this is this, exactly pretty much the same setup you would have on the 2108. Oops. Um, that we had, uh, our, our old Mini Tini 4. And, uh, but this bed... Instead, we had a Murphy bed. This is a bed. Look, look at all that storage down there on this bed. Ah, and of course, on both sides, you have USBs and a inverter ready, um, inverter ready uh, power outlets. So that's very cool. All right, let's see what else there is to see here. Okay, actually, before we go, coming here to the back, you have your, your spare tire. And on this side here, you have your, your, your slide out. That's your um, water heater. There's another access to that uh, storage down there. And this is the way that the other one looks on the back. And uh, let's see if it's open. Yep, so um, I'm gonna ask them exactly, but I would think this is a, a way to, 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 you know, to load some gear into this area uh, area this rv is prepped for undergo on the go ladder i guess that's a leopard product there the on the go ladder that is not permanently installed and uh this is what it looks like on the other side for this one 
and as I mentioned, you know, the, the M series, you, you get all the, most of the amenities that you get with the regular Micro Mini. I mean, you even get a porcelain toilet, but it is a more budget kind of RV. So um, that we don't have any pricing information today because it is uh, industry day, but uh, if uh, by the time this video comes out, I have some pricing inf information, I will insert it here somewhere. So that's the M series from Buenavego. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the next RV. Well, this one we've seen before. This is the Winnebago Axis. And uh, I believe this one debuted at the, at the Hershey Every Show. I'm not entirely sure, but this is a uh, different me metallic construction, thicker walls, so it's very well insulated. And um, I forgot to say it about the M-Series, but they all have the enclosed underbelly and they have um, the heated tanks. So it's, um, you know, it's, it's uh, I mean, it's not by, by no means a four season uh, rig, but it could, you know, you could withstand a little bit of the cold weather. And, uh, and these are very cool. They all have the, this one has the electric uh, jacks. Uh, so, you know, easy to set up at the campsite and the dual axles, of course. Which uh, this one has the the spring uh, uh, springs uh, suspension. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. This one uh, is the Axis 28 FK, which has a, an exterior length of 32 feet, dry weight of 6790, and hitch weight of 998. It would it would be good to see the the cargo capacity and the G, G, uh, GW, GVWR on these uh, trailers but as I mentioned it's industry day so we don't really have all the like pricing information and all that and uh, I'll try to paste that in tomorrow but uh, in any case here we are let's step inside and uh, yeah with that big slide on the on the driver's side this feels very spacious and of course, this is one foot wider than the, than the M-Series and the Micro Mini. This one would be an eight foot, foot wide uh, rig. Three burner propane, lots of prep room, that sink that we've seen before. Here we have very deep pantry space. You could get lost. You could get lost back there. And uh, more drawers, all very large. Uh, you know, they have a lot of storage in these units. This will be your pots and pans drawer right here. And uh, this down here is not a drawer. That's your electrical systems. And down here, more storage. And they're using very nice latches now. Uh, down there, I will put a, a garbage can. And then... Very large doors. Lots of room here. This is of course a dinette that it, that it right now is, is uh, on the down position because this could become another sleeping surface for two people actually. It's quite uh, the wide dinette since this is a wider trailer. And uh, here we have sofa on, the, on this light out in front of the TV where it should go. And, uh, and it looks like besides the pantry, everything is accessible with the sliding, which is always a consideration, especially if you are, are going to be staying at rest areas, things like that, you know, for some uh, more stealth camping. Same refrigerator we've seen before in, in, in all the other units. That's the two-door GE. This is the same one we have in our Micro Mini, Mini Tini 4. In here we have, again, porcelain toilet, which you know I like. Very nice, large mirror here, lots of counter space, medicine cabinet, lots of storage down here. And uh, more down there. And then walk around bed back here, but almost walk around. This is a, a little forward to be truly, truly walk around. But then again, you have, it's, uh, I mean, yeah, it's not, it's not bad. You could, you know, it's, Fairly, if fairly comfortable to get in and out. Wardrobe closet, more storage up there. And as you can see, it has a fairly deep lip. And I like that because you can put stuff there and it won't fall off. Drawers on both sides. I mean, you have a lot of storage in this unit. And then of course, on both sides, we have a inverted power, inverted, no, not to say inverted, power outlets and 
and uh, USBs of both kinds, USB Type-C and uh, Type-A. I should turn on the AC here. It was it was uh, colder this morning and right now it's, uh, it's hot and humid. We just had a huge downpour here in Florida. So um, this is very nice. I like it. Ducted AC. I believe it does come with 200 watts of solar. So... Um, Yeah, this, you know, when they're new, you really have to push. <laughs> they, 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 they become easier as that. Um, what do we have back here? Because I, I believe we have some storage. I believe this is under the bed, under, the, under your nightstand storage back here. Let's see what we have. Oh, no, look at that. This is the, the I was burying the lead. This is huge pass-through storage back here. You can put a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff. As long as it fits through this uh, opening, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. you could store a, a small person back there. <laughs> and uh, let's see the storage here in the front, which I'm sure it's also, yeah. I think the main thing here with the axis, at, at least this floor plan, is storage. Um, a huge awning with LED. This is very cool. Now let's... Uh, Let's see uh, this other floor plan, which this one has bunks. This is the 30BH332 length, dry weight of 7146, dry, uh, I mean hitch weight 910. And uh, I can see we have in the front here uh, a, a walk around bed with under bed storage. We have a theater seating here, um, a dinette. And then you have a, sh uh, a bathroom and bunks in the back. Let's check it out. The 30BH axis. We'll begin here at the front. This is your bedroom. Very similar, if not exactly the same as the one we just saw. Um, and here's the, the living area here. Again, with this big, huge slide and it being eight feet wide, it feels very spacious in here. You could do ballroom dancing in here, <laughs> really. And, uh, and then very similar to what we've seen, you know, yeah, this is, if, 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 uh, if you know, it, it, it's the same refrigerator, same sink, same uh, three burner uh, propane, and same, this is gonna be your drawer, this is gonna be your electrical. Um, Wanabego is very consistent with the way they, they build and um, here we have this, could be pantry, could be other storage, could be uh, the only thing again with this light in, you still have access to the bathroom but you lose this and half of this storage here probably. Now here are your bunks, bunk beds, we have a, a, a light you know, for uh, this is of course a family trailer. We have, you have a light and then you have power and USBs on both the upper and the lower bunk. I'm sure there, there's an option to, well, I don't see it, but you would think there's an option to put a TV, although to be honest, kids don't watch TV anymore. So yeah, as long as they have an iPad, you know, it's all good. Some storage here, maybe for toys and whatnot. Again, porcelain toilet, you know, I love those. And this one, does not have that squeegee sliding door. This one does come with the sh regular shower curtain, but it's a very large, very large uh, shower here. And uh, clearance wise, I mean, unless you are like 6'2", 6'3", I don't think you have anything to worry about on this one. Um, nice sink here and storage down here, medicine cabinet, large mirror, yeah. If you have the tow vehicle to tow this, this is uh, definitely a, uh, a Winnebago access. And as I, as I mentioned, I don't have any pricing information right now, but same as the M-Series, the Winnebago access is very budget friendly when it comes to pricing. It's, uh, it's what they're doing. This one, the storage is not quite as tall, but it uh, has a very nice storage up here. And uh, I do believe that's a, a furnace a furnace a grill there so this would be heated storage down here and uh, let's see what we have here this is whoa oh look at that I was burying the lead um, 
and I would think, oh, here we go. So if you come around this way, outside kitchen, and I think I'm in the middle of someone else doing a video, but it's, it's all right. Um, yeah, we have a griddle, refrigerator, so you can entertain outside. Okay, we have two more uh, access models here and we're going to do them all. This is the 26BH and uh, this one also has bunks. It's, it's uh, 29 in length, so it's a little longer than that one we just saw. 5700 dry weight, 698 uh, hitch weight and uh, it's all season prepped, so I, I misspoke earlier. Built with a thicker sidewall for added strength and durability, fully insulated, heated underbelly, and 12 volt uh, tank heaters. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't take, I probably wouldn't take it in minus 20 degree weather, but other than that, it should, um, it should withstand almost anything Mother Nature throws at you. Here we have the bedroom. Again, I'm not gonna go through everything because it's very similar to what we saw before. There's a little storage back there behind the, the, the closet, which I don't think the other one had it. And of course, I don't think I showed you in the previous one, but all of this, they have under the bed storage like here. Whoops. Emergency exit, of course, they all have that. Here's your jackknife sofa and uh, Okay, I'm sitting here, that's not a prime viewing position for that TV, but I'm sure it swivels, it's, it's got, you, you, you would think, right? Yes, it does, so let me, because it is a two-handed operation, so I'm just going to set this here, and uh, I guess this comes out, and like this, and it's still not exactly in front of you but it's a good compromise because you do i mean you don't have any wall over there to, for for a tv to be on so um it's a good compromise for the tv definitely dinette that converts into a bed here we have a key, um, you know the the galley with lots of prep space and that is something that i've been looking at when when i look at rvs lately i i, I want to have some prep space in mine I don't, I usually just set my, my cutting board here, but uh, it's, it's nice to, to have a, a sturdy surface. Here we have some little storage. Let's see the back, let's see the back. Fridge is the same, convection microwave is the same. This one actually has a nice hood, same uh, three burner propane. Bunk beds, and these ones again, you also have uh, lights for both and uh, USB, power USB. Type A and Type C, very important because we are kind of in te technology-wise, we're in a transition period, right? Some of our older devices still use A, but everything new uses Type C. And now, to top it all off, new iPhones come with Type C instead of uh, Lightning. So, you see what I mean? Nice. I, actually, I like you know the, the the sink here. It's outside the bathroom, which. Uh, the bathroom here, same, nice shower with a shower curtain. I want my, my porcelain toilet, lots of, lots of storage, storage up there. There's storage everywhere. I have storage up here and up there. Ducted AC again. Let me put the TV back. Let me see if I could do it with one hand. Probably not. Nope. Luckily, I have this handy little tripod on the GoPro, so um, maybe there and now and yeah, you'll get the hang of it. And eventually, uh, after some time, you know, it becomes easier. You know, all those hinges uh, become easier to move. All right, we have one more access. I'm totally disoriented here now. <laughs> I have one more access and uh, like I said when they're new you really have to push uh, then after a while it's uh, it's not as as much and uh, here we have one more access this is this is the 
25 ml again 29 in length i mean these are not small units these are uh, very nice very comfortable especially if you have if, if for the, those two that we just saw if you have a family this one is um oh let's let's take a look inside uh, 6472 dry weight and here we are again looks very spacious and this one has the slide also I, and I didn't notice this on the on the previous one you know it's, it's flush to the ground so that's very nice this one has a rear kitchen I mean, it is, it is actually, I like it because you have some prep space right next to the range where you want it. And then you have another prep area back here, or maybe, you know, you can put your, your coffee machine back there. You have a uh, power outlet, power outlet, two power outlets here. Um, they went overboard with power, power outlets in this kitchen, you know, so you could put, um, I guess all kinds of appliances, you know, you could have a, you know, blender or whatnot. And, and um, and one thing, uh, if you put nano tape on those things, you know you they don't move. You can you can be on the road uh, with them. Here we have storage up here. Same GE refrigerator. So you know some things that uh, uh, are the same. I'm not gonna go over them all that much. This is I don't know what this is for, but I imagine this. Let's see, let's investigate. Because this is, I think this is kind of like the jackknife they have in the, in one of the Micro Minis 2108s. But I imagine this handle, oh, there we go. Okay, now that handle is just for, for the recliner option. That's very cool. I'm sure that there is a, some kind of um and the other side should have one too right i just can't see yeah it's here so you just pull on that and it reclines that's pretty cool all right i'm starting to break a sweat here because believe it or not it is very hot in florida today and it's not hot it's just humid you know it's it's in the 70s but it's and it just rained and it's like probably over 100% humidity. And, uh, and since it was colder earlier, the AC units are not on. Um, that's where you would put a TV, which, yeah, it's a prime viewing location for sure. It would have a, some more storage. All right, and that's, that's the Wanabago Access here at the 20. 24 Florida RV Super Show. Uh, let me show you the storage real quick before we go. Again, uh, you know, pass through storage on this side, and, um, and then there's uh, that's it. There's no other. So the only one that has the outside kitchen is the one, the, the second one we saw over there. Oh, well, not for real. That's it for, for towables this year. I mean, yeah, you have the micro minis and the minis and the voyage, but we've seen those before, so uh, I'm not gonna cover them this year. Uh, just uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Riding in my RV